Hey guys, welcome back. This is Shaft, and uh, we are looking at the final game. Remember, I promised you we were going to be having the magnificent pink Zergy McFerguson. It's Stefano and his opponent, the blue Terran. His name's MVP. Guess what? He's the MVP. That means most valuable player. He is a boss. He has employees that work for him. Okay, that works. All right, so uh, I'm actually really excited to see what kind of uh, mashup uh, up this is going to be. Stefano, um, as illustrated recently by Day9, has been favoring a Roach Hydra kind of style. Um, so I'm interested to see if he's going to do it on something like Antigua. I know he loves it for Ohana, so, uh, we'll find out. We will. Um, ZVT, definitely, uh, considered a weak mashup for the Terran right now. Um, I think a lot of the current balance situation of StarCraft is more of education, of learning. Um, I think there will always be periods of enlightenment for each race where you know you really find something that works really 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 well but it's not so much a matter of the numbers being off or you know a quote unquote balance issue as much as it is a failure to understand the matchup or response as soon as a well let's think about it way way back in the day protoss did not forge fast expand. They did gateway first into huge colossi death ball and ultimately steamrolled Zerg. Zerg then realized, hey, we can mass Ling Muta and there's nothing a death ball user can do. Yay. This forced people to do uh you know, forge first expands. Um because the Lings, you know, can no longer pressure or delay this uh, natural, so on and so forth, uh, which, you know, forced Zerg to learn something new in response. Um, you know, then back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Now, that's ZVP, but the same thing applies to ZVT. It used to be, you know, Blue Flame Hellions. Well, Hellions are still part of it, but um, Hellion uh, Banshee is kind of the style that's famous right now. We actually have this command center finishing up that was a CC first build. We've got two queens on the way right now for Stefano. He's actually got gas as well. So this is going to be uh, super fascinating. Um, whether or not you know we are going to see this uh, this uh, Hydra style, he usually delays the third quite a bit when he does this Hydra. So that's uh, one thing we can anticipate. Uh, going to go ahead and target down this SCV. He could do that with only one Zergling. Go ahead and take the Zetel Naga with the other if you wanted to. But it uh, looks like right now he's more interested in just denying scouting information. He uh, shows his opponent, you know, one guy in gas uh, and the metabolic boost. He then adds two more. Uh, looks like he was just trying to, you know, show him one idea uh, when he's actually doing something else. Yep, there's the roaches finishing now. Uh, looks like his opponent was not able to see that roach worn. So this is going to be a interesting... Oh, five roaches on the way. Gonna go. Uh, that's a really long rush distance, actually, for roaches. What the hell? Okay, so uh, two lings on the way there. Boom. Uh, just for scouting, he sees the command center. He sees the bunker. Blah 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 blah. Okay, automaton. Woo! I'm an automaton. Two thousand thirteen. Ha! I'm newer. Okay. And Roaches moving out across the map now. This is uh, just something I cannot get used to seeing in ZVT, actually. Uh, I remember so often hearing Idra talk about Roaches being useless in, in uh, Terran in this matchup. But, yeah, not so much anymore. Now, um, no layer tech just yet. Uh, interesting. Okay. Three uh, drones being produced right now. Uh, I'm just uh, fascinated by this th fast three command center build um, of MVP. You know, you do see styles like this sometimes, but this is going to make them very, very vulnerable to this Roachling 
little uh, fight that Stefano's doing. Actually, that is going to really mess with uh, MVP. Uh, he's not actually going to be able to kill off this bunker, so what he's doing is uh, moving really close to the bunker and targeting down SCVs instead. He's got the mule there to kind of block the pathway, uh, but unfortunately uh, he is going to be able to push on down. That bunker does eventually fall, and uh, MVP losing quite a bit here. Nine workers killed so far. Destroyed the bunker. Uh, probably going to make this horrible command float into the air after a little bit. Right now it's not building SCVs as well. Uh, wow, wow. Lots of damage done here. Stimpak about halfway done. Marauders are on the way. Uh, but the Terran is in a really rough situation. Uh, 14 workers. 15, could be 15 at least. Ultimately, ultimately, 15, 15, 15, 15. Okay. Alright, and we've actually got four gas uh, coming up here for Stefano. A macro hatch. Still not worried about this third base. Lair. Still no lair. Okay. Okay. No, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I, I like Stefano's position. He's a little, uh, he's about one and a half times his opponent's supply. Let's put it that way. Four Hellions, uh, just going to move out for some scouting, uh, make sure Stefano is not journeying too heavily behind his aggression. He won't be. He already has five Roaches. That will stop Hellions. Yay. Mmm. Dude. Factory now swapping up. Tech Lab. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, the question is, uh, is he going to be going for... Uh, the sieged tanks. It does look like that's going to be uh, his plan here. Siege tanks do great against roaches, whether they're actually sieged or not. Yep, there's some tanks. He's not going for siege mode yet. Uh, one one for bio. Actually, there's the siege mode. Okay. 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 Third base now for Stefano. 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 Who is Stefano? Roach speed on the way. Cool deal. Cool deal. Um. Yeah. So. At this point. Both players just trying to get this economy established. Uh, some more gas going down for MVP. Um. Really smart to go ahead and scan right now. You really want to know what kind of layer tech Stefano is going to be doing. He actually hasn't shown much as far as layer tech. Just doing uh, some upgrades available at layer for tier one. That's uh, actually pretty wise since he's only just now getting this third up. Um, that'll let him uh, focus a little bit more on later game uh, units later. Um, right now, focusing more on the tier one. While his economy just gets into a ridiculous zone. Uh, okay, creep spread actually starting to get pretty ridiculous as well, but the Hellions are there to uh, deal with that. Uh, Roaches will go ahead and uh, make sure that's not going to be an issue again. Chase those Hellions home. So I wonder, uh, you know, how many people actually have uh, played uh, Heart of the Swarm that are listening to this. Uh, I know that, you know, a lot of people did get the beta. I uh, happen to have it myself. Just uh, started checking it out recently. Uh, upset to find out that they took out the Hellion upgrade. What the hell? Probably a little bit behind on that, but that's okay too. And here are Hydras now for Stefano. Um, usually he'll do like a Hydra attack, but I think the rush distance is just too long here, so he's getting the creep spread and using them a little bit defensive right now. Which is fine, 10 Hydras on the way. Upgrade as well, getting a fourth base. Actually, Hydras holding this position right here is going to be beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Stefano, you are such a fine human being. Give me some of your hair. I will dread it into my own. Yeah, actually, that would be really gross. Sorry, dude. Not gonna do that. Alright, so, um... 
plus two, plus two, coming up for MVP. MVP here. I wonder, well, we know he's seen it before. He, he did a, this was a two-game series uh, against Stefano where, um, so, yeah, um, we know he's seen the Hydras before. Let's see if he's come up with a response since the last game. And when I say this is a two-game series, I mean this is a game two in a series. Do, 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 do. Plus two, plus two, finishing up for ranged uh, on Stefano Sock. And of course, MVP with the ultimate unit spread. Um, all his units in very defensive positions. <coughs> I've always felt like, you know, tanks that fire from uphill should do more damage based on how far up they are. I mean, just think about it. You know, gravity adds a little extra oomph to those attacks. <coughs> a little extra... <coughs> yeah, that sounds cool. <laughs> Use this cough to my advantage, sir. <coughs> okay, uh... Not really sure what the roaches here are for. If it's just to track this hellion down or what, but okay. Ultralisk just, uh, Ultralisk done actually, just finishing up. Plus three, plus three, uh, finishing up, or starting now for Stefano's ranged units. And a command center here for MVP. Uh oh, creep spread is actually taking up, you know, about 30% of the map now. Stefano with the ridiculous composition. And by ridiculous, I mean you better not ridicule it. Ling Speed just finishing up 17 minutes into the game. Like a boss. <clears throat> okay, and we've actually got uh, a little bit of harassment going on here by the Marines. Uh, throwing com uh you know, scans everywhere uh, while he tries to eat through some of this creep. Uh, hopefully, Stefano will go ahead and send out some queens to go ahead uh, to replenish this creep before it runs back too far. But MVP in a position to kill off any queens that go too far out. Smart man, smart man. And he's slowly inching his way forward to uh, do battle with a good old Stefano RC. Raid call, lady call, and oh, adrenal glands on the way now. <clears throat> okay, actually, probably gonna lose his face. Uh, no, wait, Roach, Roach Hydra just running right on into the tank line. Wow, kills off one tank. That might have been a little wasteful. Nope, here comes another one. Ah, kill the units, kill the units. La da da da. Okay, so he's killed off a lot of tank count now. That is epic. I guess, yeah, Hydra's really... Well, Roach Hydra are both going to be really vulnerable to tanks. So if you can uh, kill those off, reset that, you can pretty much deal with the infantry at a later date. And there we go, finally killing off that base. Getting his own uh, up as well. But uh, Stefano already getting another base up. MVP punishing him for it, but... Uh, Ultimately, MVP will have to retreat. And uh, MVP maybe overextending himself a little bit here. No siege mode, and wings are gonna go ahead and clean up. Uh oh, no anti air here for uh, Stefano, just the four Hydras. So Stefano uh, will lose the opportunity to kill these three medevacs and possibly lose his hatchery as well. Yeah. Now, Stefano just gonna go ahead and try to kill off this planetary, but there's a small group of units here that uh, say no, no, no can do. So instead he's going to run right into the third, which is not a planetary. Uh oh, uh oh, he forgot the third. But that's okay, actually there's a tank. There's a couple marines there. Okay, going to go ahead and kill off this planetary, and he's got this large force of Ling Ultra just going back home, now running away. They're, they're indecisive. Ah! Actually, Stefano's 100 supply up. I think he's just toying 
with MVP at this point. You know, the Roach Hydra. The Roach Hydra! Never thought I'd say that in a ZBT. So guys, hopefully you did uh, enjoy this little cast from the Iron Squid Tournament 2. If you like this, please uh, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube. It's, uh, you know, the little button there at the top if you're on YouTube right now. If not, just type in Misused Shaft into your YouTube bars and uh, check me out. Catch you later, guys. Enjoy it. Bye.